What's shaking? Chewy Nation, Chewbacca. Let me hear back with another Madden 20 Ultimate Team video. Today we are talking solo battles once again. I made a video a few weeks ago, I guess it's been maybe about a month ago now, on solo battles and how to get a great score. Today we're going to show you how to get 26k, over 26k. Uh, in the thumbnail, I did. this isn't what the video is going to be on. I wasn't recording during the 26, what, 150 game. Uh, but I was recording on this one that you're going to see highlights of where I score over 26k. So it's very much similar stuff. And I want to talk about what I could do better and some things that... Uh, obviously, if you get over 26k, there's not a whole lot left uh, to be able to do much to do much better. But I do want to talk about that in this video. If this is helpful at all, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications, all that stuff if you're interested. There we go. Let's go ahead and dive into it. I want to make sure I, I go very slowly because I know in my last video I had a lot of comments about some things that maybe I, I skipped or went too quickly on. So I want to make sure I'm very precise with everything. I mean, you see the highlights from the stream. I did this on, a, on stream, so there's no way to like fudge any of this, but I did this on stream and got over 26K. To sh people wanted to know, how do I do it? I'm like, let's just do, a, do it on stream. So we did it so we can get the live footage. Now, the first thing is we are in the Saints playbook on offense. I get that question a lot. I am in the Saints offense. Now, that's not too important. Very rarely does that actually matter because I run verticals pretty much every play, but it is nice for a good run. I form close stretch uh, is really good, uh, but that's not necessarily the best run in the game. It's one of the best. So really what it comes down to when you pick a playbook is finding a playbook that has your favorite run in it. Outside of that, the passes you can find in any playbook. It's really about the runs. I, I've been using the Saints, so I've just been happy running I form close stretch against the CPU, but if you find a run that you like better in I form tight or... Any, any formation that you may have found be a better run, I would recommend running that. The offensive strategy is very simple. It's basically get as many first downs as possible. You should ideally get close to 40. I know that's a big number, but what it comes down to is basically getting 10 yards and going down. Don't go out of bounds. Get down. The amount of time that the runoff happens compared to going out of bounds is actually less so you go down and you know huddle. If it's within the last two minutes of the second quarter or in the fourth, I recommend that's when you should be doing your rushing because you can just go out of bounds and the clock stops. That's my recommendation on the little strategy there. Again, you could do it however you want, but that's what I found to be most successful. So we have to make sure we get down and get those first downs. So what I run is verticals, which you can see. We're running verticals with a drag, and we just hit the drag. We have Tory Holt. If you're level 50, everybody has Tory Holt. You hit the drag and you go down. That basically, you try to get the first. Now, there is times when the drag is covered. Maybe you know how to lie, he's tired or whatever. You might have to hit the running back out of the backfield. He always pretty much gets open on that route. Or the tight end sometimes is just not covered at all. You could hit him as well. You got to make a little bit of a read. But for the most part, the drag is the number one read. But I will say this. You don't have to run what I'm running. The strategy is just get first downs. I will tell you the box scores. I will tell you all the numbers that you need. But when it comes to the actual strategy, that is on you. Whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you what I do. So verticals is very, very, very effective. So you hit the drag, you get down, you get first down. Ideally, you get six, seven first downs in a drive. Try to, you know, if you kick off return, you know, you go down to like the five, six, seven. You might want to go a little bit just to make, in case you take a sack or anything. That does happen. Sometimes somebody just doesn't get blocked. You may want to go down it maybe closer to the 10 just to make sure you don't get a safety against yourself. But you want to make sure you get those first downs, stockpile them up, and, and you get a ton. Uh, I think the most I've ever gotten is close to 50. So it's definitely possible to get 40. So I recommend trying to get as many as possible. If, if you're saying, well, what's the magic number? I think I'm starting to believe it's 40. I used to think it was less, maybe 30. I've been going, I, I last couple games, I've scored over 26K and I hit the 40 number. So I'm starting to think maybe it's 40. Uh, again, I it could be 30, it could be a little bit less. There could be other variables that I'm not taking into account, but definitely try to get as many as possible. So that's my number one. W number one thing is to make sure to get first downs, go down as long as it's not the last two minutes or in the fourth. No huddle and rinse and repeat. You should be able to do that pretty effectively. Running the ball not is gonna work is not gonna work like that because you're gonna get tired. 
which is my second second thing that I recommend is running the ball, which I already said this, in the last two minutes of the second quarter, as well as in the fourth. I have been messing around with this, and I am telling you, the best strategy is to get everything done by the fourth quarter, before the fourth quarter hits. I know that's a lot of work, and it's, against the good teams, it's going to be much difficult. But the defensive strategy does not work in the fourth quarter so we want to try to mitigate all the variables like you don't know what the, sometimes you can just sack them three times in a row if you got a glitchy blitz that always gets a sack definitely run that if you don't i recommend you got to make sure you're very efficient get those first downs and try to get them pretty much done everything done passing wise at least and a lot of the rushing done before the fourth quarter hits that's my recommendation because they the the glitchy defense doesn't work in the fourth so Make sure running, go out of bounds in the last two minutes in the fourth. That way you can sub in another running back. They're going to get tired. You definitely have to make sure you, you mess around with your running backs. Hopefully you have a couple good ones. Uh, you don't have to have amazing ones. I recommend just guys with speed. You can even get like a Philip Lindsay, pretty budget option as like a second running back. Or maybe that's your number one and you can get, you know, somebody. I would just recommend somebody with some decent speed as your running, as your running back. So that is the offensive strategy. Now, when I talk about the numbers, I think you guys want to know the numbers. Uh, you've already probably seen the defense. I'm going to talk about that here shortly. The numbers are, I, I think it's 350 passing 150 rushing is kind of the numbers that I look for. But if you're getting like 40 first downs, you're going to notice that you can easily eclipse that. So I would say 400 passing 200 rushing i've messed around with less than that and i haven't noticed it i've gotten 26k with 350 passing and only like 160 rushing so i don't think i do think it's possible the thresholds are 350 and 150 but if you're like i don't know what to do you know you got everything done i'd recommend just going up an extra 50 400 and 200 should you leave should leave you pretty safe and then first downs like i've already said Make sure you should hopefully get close to 40. That's the number that I've, I've been pretty happy with with my scores. Whenever I hit 40, I'm like, this, I feel like it's going to be a good score. At least offensively, I feel like I did well. Completions, eh, I think you get those anyway. So 30, 35, whatever, just you, you'll get those. So I wouldn't recommend really focusing on completions too much. Uh, touchdowns, I got to make sure I don't miss that. Touchdowns, I recommend at least getting two rushing touchdowns. The rest can be in passing. Uh, that's I haven't really messed around with trying to get like only one rushing to see if there's a difference between one and two, but it just seems pretty easy. Just get two uh, if you want to get more, you can. But uh, passing whatever's left there, so that's that's offense. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. That is the offensive strategy. Again, ideally, you get everything done in the first three quarters outside of rushing. I like to go into a half with about 300 yards. That's ideal. 200 passing and 100 rushing. Hopefully, 100 rushing in the last two minutes and 200 passing before the two minute warning so basically you get like whatever three we'll say three possessions because when you intercept it you might not be able to run backwards or whatever so let's just say you get 200 yards with three possessions passing before the two minute warning and then you get two possessions within the two minute warning uh, and you get rushing and hopefully you get about 100 or more rushing yards then so now you're looking at 300 total yards of offense in the first half, and that's really a good start. Uh, and then you can go from there, and then you, you're feeling pretty comfortable. Hopefully, uh, 20, 25 first downs uh, would be would be nice. So that's kind of the first half uh, threshold. Sometimes you'll have more. I've had 27, 30 first downs in the first half. If you're really, really like if the defense, especially when you play the bad teams, you can just outrun them. You get the first down, you go down, go out of bounds, you keep stop. You can get 30 first downs in a half. It's just very, I mean, it's going to be difficult, but you can do it. Now, the most important thing, of course, and you guys probably have, you can see it. We got a glitchy defense. This has been in the game for, at least it was last year. I think it's been in the game for a while. And they've tried to patch it or whatever, but it's never been patched really. So the glitchy defense is you come out in field goal block. I think I always come out in field goal block right, and I audible to punt safe. Now, when you audible, that means you hit the, the square button on Xbox or the X bot, the square button on PlayStation or the X button on Xbox. And then you have to scroll over like left or right. If you do field goal block right, I think you just have to scroll to the once left to punt safe. Uh, so you, you audible to punt safe and then they're going to throw a lot of picks. They're going to, they're going to audible to verticals pretty much every time. Uh, and then you'll be able to, and I'll talk about exceptions here in a minute and you'll be able to pick them. You'll notice that how I do it. This is a timing thing though. You're going to have to practice. I would recommend you do it in a 
a solo, just a random solo, or, you know, do it not in a solo battle first. Practice intercepting the CPU. If you get a good user, I got Tillman, so that's the best, obviously. But if you get a good user, somebody with height is actually maybe even a little bit better because sometimes you get agged. I think the height could help you there. But just get somebody that has, you know, can can you you can use her with. Put him as your backup free safety. That's who you're gonna want. At least that's who I use her. Your backup free safety. I put Pat Tillman there, and that's who I use her. And if you like move inside the numbers, they will basically throw a pick every time. You just have to be careful because sometimes they bullet it and sometimes they lob it. And if they bullet and you're too far away, they can definitely fit it in there. Also, if they lob it, they can easily ag you as well. So I would recommend if they lob it up, maybe just going for a swat. You can go for the pick. Uh, definitely nothing wrong with that. But you got to be a little bit worried when they do lob it up if you have like Tillman that you could get agged, which does happen. Doesn't matter what abilities, they, it happens. The CPU will cheat sometimes. But it's so glitchy and it's so good for interception from Mutt Master as well. Easy picks. And if once you get good at it, you'll notice you'll be getting eight, nine interceptions a game. It's it's really, really easy. Like you'll they'll be 0 for 9 with nine picks. You'll you'll get it. So you just gotta practice and and mess around with it. And you'll be you'll you'll find that you'll get very good at it. And really, what it comes down to on defense is you want to allow nothing, right? I think points is actually not that big a deal. It's the yards and the first downs. Now I know you're thinking like, how do you give up points? Well, say you throw a pick six or a fumble and they recover it for a touchdown. I don't think it matters. And if it does, it's so small that I haven't noticed it. So if you fumble and they pick it up and run for a touchdown, don't feel like you all hope is lost. The big thing is yards allowed and first downs, and it may just be one or the other. But I think uh, I think it's I, I started to think it was first downs, but then I had a game where they had two ridiculous. They agged me twice because I didn't go for swats. They agged me twice, and they had like 120 yards of offense, and I didn't have a great score, and everything else was great. So I think yards allowed definitely does matter. Maybe first downs. They had zero first downs, but uh, they got a couple bombs on me. So. Uh, I, again, it's, it's, I'm speculating, but I would say you want to give as many as few yards as possible. When I got a 26,150, I had zero yards allowed. They actually didn't have a single completion. I picked them off every single time. They didn't run the ball once. They had zero yards of offense. Because what I did was I had 400 yards passing. I had 200 yards rushing. This is the another solo that I'm talking about. And I had uh, all everything done by the end of the third quarter. And guess what I did in the fourth? I ran the ball, I ran the clock out. That's the good feeling when you're like, I got everything done, I'm just gonna run the clock out. And that's exactly what I did. Because if you're using the field goal block glitch, we'll say if you're using it, you gotta be careful because there's exceptions. In the fourth quarter, they're audible a lot of times to something completely random. I don't know how they haven't fixed this yet. I wouldn't worry about it getting patched. It's been in the game for a while, they've patched it patched it it hasn't really been patched so i wouldn't worry about that but in the fourth quarter whatever reason they have figured out how to make the fourth quarter actually work the way you know not to be able to glitch the system they'll run anything sometimes they'll run vertical sometimes they'll run curls sometimes they'll run crossers i have no idea i haven't figured out any rhyme or reason the fourth quarter it, it's just crazy it just everything is is wild so you really don't want to be running it in the fourth quarter if you're stuck in a, a spot where you're like, oh no, I don't know what to do. I still think mid blitz is really good. I, I think mid blitz will will get sacks a decent enough time. Sometimes you're gonna get beat on slants though, and they could run for a touchdown. So you definitely have that worry. I, sometimes I press, but my corners aren't like top top tier, so they'll get burnt sometimes. So pressing is, you know, there's a little bit of risk as well. Uh, at least from the defense I run, uh, maybe if you try pressing shade over top, you know, maybe you can, maybe that's good. I haven't really messed around with it enough. But if you find a good blitz, I definitely think uh, you definitely use it. I, I mean, if you're in the fourth quarter and you need to get a stop, like don't just do whatever I'm telling you to do. Whatever you're finding effective, do that. I think mid blitz has been the best for me when I need it. But I've tried pinch bucko. I've tried a few other blitzes. Not really that good for me. Usually man blitzes I find the best to be against the CPU. Because they usually, if it's not there, they'll just like run around and they'll take a sack. They can't make a read if it's if man coverage a lot of times. Unless it's like a slant and they just like completely destroy your guy. So that's, that's my opinion. Run whatever works on defense besides the glitch if you can't. The last 
for the fourth quarter it will not work at least most of the time it does not work and oddly enough the last few seconds of a quarter usually doesn't work either so make sure you're not doing it in the last few i don't know what it is like the last five seconds they're just they just run they don't do anything it's like they don't even realize what you're doing so it's really weird the last few seconds and if they're in no huddle i should have mentioned that if they're no huddling it will not work so say you did it and they didn't throw it sometimes they'll just run with their quarterback very rarely if you time your inner if you if you get far enough away they're always going to throw it uh to the to the wide receiver that you're covering but if they don't and they decide to run it if it's within the last two minutes you know they, they're trying to no huddle or whatever then you want to call a timeout you want to get out of that defense because they're not going to audible two verticals most if you hopefully have a timeout you're able to use there and what else do we got do you think we covered everything if there's anything i did not cover in this video definitely let me know in the comments i tried to make it as succinct as possible but i also didn't want to miss anything uh if you think i did uh definitely let me know i'll go through it real quick again i was running the saints playbook on offense defense i didn't mention this but i'm in miami doesn't really matter uh mid blitz is in i think every playbook but multiple at least it was last year so uh, mid blitz you can have that in every playbook uh, unless you have a really good blitz then run, run whatever defense you want that's what i'm saying run whatever defense you want field goal glitch or whatever it can be in any playbook so that's not that's not a big deal on offense you can run any playbook you want as well find a good run and just go with that playbook then when it comes to thresholds 200 rushing 400 passing or 150 rushing 350 passing i think could be the threshold but if you do everything else like 40 first downs you're probably going to get the other ones as well and then uh completions whatever uh whatever i don't think it, uh, if it matters you'll probably get them anyway 30 35 you're gonna get them by getting all those first downs uh rushing touchdowns get a couple the rest in passing and then on defense i missed something defense a touchdown i believe to be matt d does believe i do believe what i do to the, i do believe it to matter so defense a touchdown safety i think it might be in the same realm so I think one or the other. Uh, I I one game I didn't get a safety and I got twenty six thousand one fifth one thirty ish. Another game I did get it. I got one twenty six one fifty. Like, so I don't think it matters. One game I got a safety with no defense touchdown. The other one I got a defense touchdown and no safety. And they both were really really good games. So maybe it's just one or the other. Definitely recommend that though. I think that definitely helps. Uh, anything. I, I hope that was everything. Uh, defense. Uh, just don't give up yards. I mean, it's so easy right just don't give up anything and you'll be good uh but yeah it's really important to keep them their yards as low as possible under 50 honestly zero or in the negative is definitely ideal if you want to get over 26k regularly you're going to want to give up very little on defense so thank you so much for watching i hope this helps you get over 26k let me know if you get over 26k it's hard but you, but if you do this and you practice i guarantee you on 13 games if you have a solid team you can get over 26k at least a couple times throughout the throughout the soul about a week so thank you guys so much for watching you guys are absolutely incredible i had a lot of fun explaining this i hope that shows i just i love soul, soul battle so it's a math it's a formula it's like i'm a math i'm a math guy i'm a statistics well i got my undergrad in math probably know that but i'm also getting my master's right that's why i'm so busy in statistics i love it i love it i love it i love it it's so much fun you guys are absolutely incredible that's all i got subscribe don't forget turn on notifications chewbacca lima out